What's going on guys, Cubologist here, and today I've got something a little bit different. I've got a few messages, private messages, and just friends online asking me how to get started in YouTube. So if somebody's interested in getting started and making videos, but they don't want to spend a bunch of money, I thought I'd make this video and show you how that can be done. So with this video, I'm just going to be using Audacity. It's a free audio program. All these programs will be for Mac and Windows, by the way, and I'll have links down in the description to everything I used and the tutorials I followed. So I'm using Audacity to clean up and cut the audio. I used Blender to make my intro with its 3D rendering program, and I used the video sequence editor to edit this video as well as the one I'm getting ready to show you. And I also used GIMP. It's an open source, free, image manipulator, just like Photoshop. So you guys can check all that out down in the description. I also downloaded a free app on my phone called WavePad to help me record the audio, but you can just use the stock audio recorder on your phone if you don't feel like downloading another application. And if you want a tutorial for this stuff, let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to make one later on. So check this out and I hope you guys like it. What's up guys, Cubologist here, and today I'm going to show you an algorithm that I learned, a PLL actually, that I think is really helpful and kind of fun. So if you guys know the AAPLL, I'll show you here, that's this case, where you have headlights on the left, this 2x2x1 two by two by block, and the same color right here, as you can see, that's the AAPLL. Now the way that most people do this is by holding it like this doing an X rotation and doing this algorithm. But a lot of people tend to have trouble doing the double flick with their left hands. I know I did it first. So I found a solution to this and that is to hold the cube like this and do a T permutation doing wide moves with the R. So like this. Now there's a U A U F at the end. But still, I thought that was pretty interesting. So let me show you that one more time. The cube here like this. Now you want to grip the wide R moves. You want to grip this block. You can see that it won't change that. So put the headlights on the left and do these moves. All the R moves are wide. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. Then with the U at the end, that will solve your cube. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope the quality wasn't too bad. I think it turned out pretty good actually. Now just know that this is kind of a bare bones demonstration of what you can do with this stuff. It's actually a lot more powerful than I'm showing. This is just what I could do in a couple days, learning a few new programs. But give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know if you're gonna try this stuff out. But you'll hear from me really soon guys. Talk to you later, bye.